Greetings and salutations. So for today's video, I wanted to do a reenactment of the interview with Annabeth Chase from the Demigod Files, because in my Demigod Files reading vlog, I mentioned that I wanted to do that. And quite a few people in the comments said that they want to see it too. So my original plan for it was to get a friend to be the interviewer and film with me while I was an Annabeth cosplayer and they would be asking me the questions and I would be answering as Annabeth in Annabeth cosplay. Uh, it turned out I couldn't couldn't rope my, any of my friends into this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to read the questions as Ashley um, and edit it together with, with me answering them as Annabeth. So <laughs> it might look a little weird. I'm sorry for that. So here is the interview with Annabeth Chase, the daughter of Athena. If you could design a new structure for Kim Half-Blood, what would it be? I'm glad you asked. We seriously need a temple. I mean, here we are, children of the Greek gods and we don't even have a monument to our parents. Aside from your mum, who do you think is the wisest god or goddess on the Olympian Council? Well, let me think. I think as the Olympians aren't exactly known for wisdom, and I mean that with the greatest possible respect. Zeus is wise in his own way. I mean, he's kept the family together for 4,000 years and that's not easy. Hermes is clever. He even fooled Apollo once by stealing his cattle and Apollo's no slouch. And I've always admired Artemis too. She doesn't compromise her beliefs. She just does her own thing and doesn't argue too much with the other gods in council. She spends more time in the motor world too, so she understands what's going on. She doesn't understand guys though, but I guess no one's perfect. Of all your Camp Half-Blood friends, who would you most like to have with you in battle? Oh, Percy, no contest. I mean, yeah, sure, he can be annoying, but he's dependable, he's brave, and he's a good fighter, and Normally, as long as I'm telling him what to do, he wins in a fight. You've been known to call Percy seaweed brain from time to time. What would you say is his most annoying quality? I mean, I don't call him that because he's so bright, do I? I mean, the guy's not dumb. He's actually pretty intelligent. He just acts so dumb sometimes. And I wonder if he does it just to annoy me. I mean, he's got a lot going for him. He's courageous. He's got a sense of humor. He's good looking. Don't you dare tell him I said that. Yeah, what was I? Um, He's just so obtuse, that's the word. He just misses really obvious stuff. Like, the way that people feel, even when they're dropping hints and being totally blatant and... What? No, I'm not talking about anyone or anything in particular. I'm just making a general statement. Why does everyone... Why does everyone always think that... You know what? Forget it. Thank you for your time. And that was the interview with Annabelle Chase. I've just realized how short this video is going to be. Hi, it's editing Ashley. The video is even shorter than it was going to be and I apologize for that because the first answer about architecture was meant to be longer. Uh, she basically goes on to talk about her designs for uh, the temple that she would build and how the sunlight would come through the windows each morning and like light up a different god's emblem on the floor and she'd have perfect crease sticks so they could have like lyre and reed con like concerts there. She goes on to talk about all these things and I did film that answer, that long one, don't know where it went. The f the camera just, my camera just stopped recording halfway through that sentence. I didn't notice while filming. Didn't, didn't refilm in that one. I thought that was a fine take, uh, <laughs> even though it just wasn't there. And I can't redo it now because I've just dyed my hair. So this isn't going to fade for a couple weeks and I've done most of this video, so I want to get it out. So I'm so sorry that it's so short. This video is a mess. I'm sorry. Hope you had a bit of fun. I had a bit of fun. I realized that all of my like acting and character videos can be like super cringy and weird. And I'm well aware of that, but they're also kind of my favorite thing to make. They're so much fun. You know, I my dream is to be an actress and all of the characters that I cosplay are like dream roles of mine and characters that I just love to embody. So thank you for always humoring me and letting me take on the role of these characters and being supportive of me doing that and not pointing out how cringy it can be because it can be, but also what's 2021 cringe culture is dead. Yeah, I hope you had fun with this. Thank you for letting me letting me make this video. I love you guys and I will see you soon. Mwah.